What's up, Giants? I'm Mike Anahas. And I'm Jack Sinatra. And this is Season 10, Episode 3 of Redwood TV. Redwood's first football game was played on September 20th, 1958 at Washington High School in San Francisco. Hey, Iko, are you in any clubs? No, but I'm considering some. Well, club leaders should know that applications for both new and pre-existing clubs are now available on the Redwood website by clicking on Clubs and Class Advisors. There will be a virtual club day in late September. All ASB approved clubs must be accompanied by a teacher that will host all of the virtual meetings. Now let's move into some segments. Hey Redwood, I'm Zach Burson, and this is Joke of the Week. We asked you to submit your jokes, and boy, did you guys deliver. We went through an extreme vetting process to decide the five finalists, and now I'm going to present them to you. Now, I didn't want to just read you the jokes, because I wanted to get a more natural reaction. So I'm going to be reading them to a couple buddies of mine, and you're going to see what they think. Sponsored by Clorox. Okay. I took an airline company to court today over lost luggage. I lost the case. That's a good one. That's a good one because it's like the case, like that is his luggage. Like it. It's funny. It's funny. I got it. Why do cows only have hooves? Why? Because they lack toes. <laughs> But they do whine. You know what kinda sucks? What? A broken vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Why? Because they make up everything! Bro, no way you just said that. Yo, chill. By Clorox plus Kylex. This, this video Mold has and been mildew sponsored remover. by Clorox. So, which joke did you like the best? We're gonna have a poll on the Redwood TV Instagram story whose username is at the bottom of the screen. Please vote for the joke that you thought was the best and we'll announce the winner in the next episode. Hey Redwood, we did a poll on social media to see your favorite places to go to in Marin, which could be the beach, your favorite sunsets, and your favorite food places. So let's go check them out. Our first stop is World Wraps. Of course, your polls took us here, you guys. This was the most popular one, and I totally tell why. They are well known for their wraps, and of course their boba. Um, Redwood students come here all the time, whether it's for lunch or dinner, or just to hang out with friends. So. I really recommend World Wraps in the Town Center in Corte Madera. Now that I've obtained the boba, let's give it a try. Honestly, I would give that a 9 out of 10. I think it's really worth the hype, and any Redwood student wanting to try any new food item, I think you should go right to World Wraps. Now, let's go to our next location. All right, we are at our next location. Your polls for favorite activity took us to the beach, of course. So today we are at Rodeo Beach. Let's go take a look. So actually my favorite activity to go to the beach and do is actually wear tennis shoes. Um, really do enjoy that. I don't regret uh, not bringing my flip flops. Just a disclaimer for all you guys, we are not around people. We are staying six feet apart and we are wearing our masks if we do get near people. So don't worry, we are still practicing our social distancing. So my favorite thing to do at the beach is actually just like sit in the sand. Honestly, I like it when the dogs come near me. I feel like I'm with my people. But other than that, like that's kind of it. Lastly, your polls for most favorite sunset in Marin took us to the beautiful Marin Headlands. Um, you can get to it right before you get on the bridge. Just take the right exit. It's so beautiful. I know everybody goes and I think it's very much worth the drive and the scenic route is so pretty. Um, you can come here and like 
uh, put down like a blanket and enjoy it with your friends, bring some food, kind of like make a night out of it. Maybe bring your significant other or, you know, you know, just bring your dog. If you got no one to bring, have some you time and bring your dog. But do come to Marin Headlands for a beautiful sunset. It is worth it, guys. A couple days ago, we asked for your favorite spots here on Tahar, and we're gonna start it off with dinner. Let's go see what you voted on. For your favorite dinner spot, you guys voted on Sunnyside, so that's where we're headed. Sunnyside is such a great spot to get dinner because they have a beautiful outdoor space and really good food. Let's go. We just got to Eagle Rock and the view is amazing. The sunset's pretty but it's a little smoky because of the fires, but the lake makes it all worth it. It's only a 0.7 mile walk, so if you're in Tahoe, I really recommend coming here. The last place we asked you guys to vote on is your favorite activity in Tahoe, and no doubt, swimming one by law. So let's go swimming. Thanks for participating in this week's segment. I'll see you next time. I just wanted to say a big thank you for tuning in to Culture This Week. Um, I'm Kira Kalichi, your Culture host, and I will see you next time on Rebel TV. Thanks, guys. Do you want to combat anti-Semitism? Well, if that's true, then you might want to join the new club, Students Organized Against Anti-Semitism. Their goal is to educate the community on anti-Semitism and put pressure on the people at the top to make change. They meet every Wednesday at lunch at 11.15 a.m. over Zoom. If you want to become a member, please click on the link in their Instagram bio. And if you want to learn more, contact Sarah Steele or Devin Sufer at the emails below. Hey Giants, although clubs will be looking a little bit different this year, we're excited to announce another year of the Surfrider Club. In Surfrider, they fight for ocean protection, beach access, plastic pollution, coastal prevention, and clean water. Last year, they did many beach cleanups, certified restaurants as ocean friendly, and water testing. If you'd like to find out more information or want to join, please email Lauren Carvalito at lauren.carvalito at student.tamdistrict.org. Students, this is the last school week to apply for CSF. The application window will close Monday, October 5th at 4 p.m. Any late applications will not be accepted per CSF bylaws. If you want to apply, visit the Redwood website and click on the Honor Society slash CSF option, which will take you to the online application. If you have any additional questions, email Ms. Crabtree at jcrabtree at tamdistrict.org. Hey Redwood Artists, if you want a little break from all your Zoom calls, the Art Honor Society Club wants to invite all passionate level of artists to join. They work on art projects around Redwood's campus and you can also gain some community service hours. They'll be meeting every Tuesday at 11 o'clock during lunch. If you're an active member, you will also be able to receive a rainbow tassel for graduation. If you'd like to join or have any questions or want to learn more information, please email Keegan or Claire. The purpose of Peer Resource is to help students build relationships, to understand all levels of mental, sexual, and emotional health, to support you in making informed decisions, both personal and social. We're also trained in a variety of health issues, such as sexual decision making and sexual orientation, stress and mental health, relationships and refusal skills. STDs, body image, and active listening, to create a non-judgmental space to share. We work as peer facilitators to talk about stigmatized topics such as when I was struggling with my mental health, the time my parents were divorced, when I lost a loved one, when I felt insecure, when I was anxious, when I needed advice, when my sibling went to college, when I needed someone to talk to. We know this school year has been difficult. We are here for you if you have anything to talk about. You can submit a request through the link being sent through email, our Instagram bio, and the Peer Resource website. With this, you can set up a confidential meeting with a Peer Resource student through Zoom. Thanks, guys. Have you registered to vote if you're 18 or pre-registered if you're 16 or 17? 
If not, then register or pre-register today in SMART. Your teacher or leadership representative will have all of the necessary information. Don't worry, it only takes about five minutes to apply, so it won't cut into your homework time. It is strongly recommended that you take your California ID number, your California driver's license number, or the last four digits of your social security number. Voting is the most important right and duty that an American citizen has, and it is very important that you all register so that you can vote for the upcoming election. Thank you, Jack. Freshmen, Link Crew will be hosting several events throughout the year. Some of the upcoming events are a trivia night where you have a chance to win a $15 gift card to World Wraps. The theme is Disney TV shows and will be on September 30th at 5.30 p.m. Stay tuned for an email from Ms. Slattery or Burko about more information and how to sign up. There will also be a virtual movie night that you and your friends can attend. It will be on the first Thursday of every single month and they will try to be holiday themed or whatever the month is. This Thursday, October 1st, is where you're going to be playing The Addams Family. And look out for future events because we're going to be trying to give out snacks and goodies to your house. Lastly, freshmen, Tommy Cronstrom, Rory Minty, and Max Malone are going to be hosting a sports watching party on September 30th at 6 p.m. It will be hosted on Zoom, obviously, and you'll be able to watch and learn more about Redwood basketball from our very own basketball players. Also, just watch regular basketball. I hope you guys can all attend the events. Hey Giants, do you want to spread the word about your team, club, or organization on campus? Visit the Redwood website and click on the RTH form under the main image. Complete the form and get your information in Redwood TV, The Twig, or in Homeroom. Thanks Giants, and remember, I might go. And I'm Jack. And remember to squeeze toothpaste from the bottom of the tube.